Got myself an Etherbrock RPM air gap. Not sponsored anyway by anybody. This is all me. Bought this sucker out. Right, took me three months to get this thing. Three freaking months for an intake manifold for a Chevrolet. My God. 2022, better be better for parts. Also, if you haven't seen the previous videos, Holly Sniper EFI, baby. Oh yes, we are going fuel injected for the Camaro. Hoping to get a few more horsepower out of it. Along with a little more drivability for the wife and it's her car. But I would like a little better throttle response, burn those tires a little bit easier. Be absolutely beautiful for this car. A few other maintenance things I'm gonna be doing on the car while I'm at it. Sway bar bushings, yada yada. So let's jump in there and get this car on stands, baby. Let's do this. Well, I showed you guys what uh, I'm upgrading to, but I haven't shown you what I'm upgrading from. So this car was put together with, you know, parts that were kind of laying around. Yeah, you got the air cleaner here. <clears throat> Intake manifolds from a 1971 Corvette, 750 Holley double pumper carburetor as well, came off the same Corvette. Now these are pretty good for the time, but out of the Brock RPM should be a drastic upgrade from this. And of course, EFI, well, EFI speaks for itself. But I gotta take all this off, get the distributor out, and set the timing on the engine before I can do anything. So, time to start taking crap apart. Things started off great. Everything's going smooth. And then things went south pretty fast from there. Oh, man. Oh. oh, there's still skin on it. Done really smooth until I had to put the O2 sensor in this guy. Where this little tiny clamp that they sent with this kit will not fit anywhere close over my exhaust. I mean, it's not even remotely close to what I need to get it done. Old? New. Shiny. I'm scratching my head. This is the point where I decided I need to call for help. All right, repeat what you just said. <laughs> Mike was right. Hey, he said it kind of. Kind of. I'm going to yeah. take it as a win. Wow. He doesn't know why he's right. I don't care. I was right. So I take it as a win. I'm going to fix it for you anyway. By the way, this is ace number one. I'm ace number two. It took him two tries to get it right. So I win. Yeah. I've been waiting to use that one for a while. Fucking Chevy! <sighs> there we go. Almost. Yeah, for a four guy, you're doing pretty good. I'll teach you everything I know. <laughs> what the fuck is the distributor in the back for? <laughs> Things are done. Thank you. Fuel pump in, everything's wired up. Now is the moment of truth to see if I can get to the wizard and get this thing fired up. This thing has been on stands for about three weeks, but I've done a lot of other things to it. That just regular routine maintenance stuff to get it ready for this. Oil chains, tune up, rewiring the cables, had to put a fuel pump in it, O2 sensor. A lot of little things, say anything crazy? No? Alrighty, let's see. Let's go ahead and just skip right to the good stuff. This also may be where I may have allegedly tried to start a brand new fuel pump without any gasoline in the tank. than she was oh, 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 oh. oh there's a big difference now, I'm still in learn mode so she should learn as I drive a little bit so I'm gonna take her easy and then the fun begins Smooth. 
way better than it was before. Oh my gosh, the difference is night and day. Sooner. All right, well, I need to go teach it some more things so I can get even faster. 